皆さん、こんにちは。Today I'm going to show you my top 8 books to learn Japanese grammar. So first, who am I? So I did my major in Japanese language and also minor in teaching Japanese as foreign language. And now currently working as a Japanese language teacher. So I'm basically a Nihongo no sensei desu. So my first two books recommendation are these two books, A Dictionary of Basic Japanese Grammar and The Intermediate Version. So these two books, as you can see here, are written by the same author. Seichi Makino and Michio Susui. I got these two books from secondhand shop at a pretty cheap price. And these two books has helped me a lot when I did my master research. Uh, so what I like about this book, so first, as you can see, the grammar expression is written in red and under it is the explanation of what the grammar function is. And the best thing about this book is the key sentence feature. So where they divided the grammar explanations by topic, subject and object. So it makes it easier for a beginner to understand the basic structure of a Japanese grammar. They also have examples and notes, a very detailed explanation of what this uh, grammar do and what are the differences, you know, maybe some uh, chewy, some things that you need to be careful of. For example, this ageru, so they have kureru. What are the differences between ageru and kureru? And there's a lot and other grammar expressions written here, basically the same structure. So the intermediate version is basically the intermediate version of the basic one. So it's an upgrade version. So this one is tar targeted more towards like, you can think it as for those who need, you know, JLPT N3 or N2 level. While the other one is basically for beginner that start from zero to N5, you know, N5 or N4. So the next three books. So this is my, one of my favorite series in learning Japanese grammar. So this is Kurabete Wakaru series. Kurabete means compare and wakaru means understand. So it's basically you compare uh, a group or a pair of similar grammars and try to understand what are the differences and the similarities between these two grammars. Okay, so they have, I have these three books I shown here, but I have the advanced version too. So totally recommended this book. The smallest one is the beginning one. So let's show you. For example, you can see here the difference between, let's say, Aida, Aida ni and Uchi ni. Or the difference between here. So you hear, so first, they has English explanation. And also Vietnamese explanation. I mean, translation. So the grammar is bold. And they have this comparison. What are the similarities and what you can and cannot do between these two grammars. So they have, so this is what I like about this. They have this maru and batsu, where you can understand why this sentence is wrong and why this sentence can be used with another grammar explanation. Okay, so my next book, this is my favorite, you guys. This, if you don't have any money <laughs> and you just need one books to learn Japanese grammar, especially Japanese grammar particle, because this is targeted towards grammar particle. Take this book. So if you are confused between between the difference between what and ga, o and that, ni and e, got this book. So this book has a very easy to understand illustration. So it makes really, it really, really makes it easier for you to understand how the Japanese grammar particle works. So you know the Japanese grammar particle is not that hard. So get this book. If you want to learn Japanese grammar particle, get this book. Okay. So next. So this one is actually more towards advanced level, maybe intermediate. You can think it as uh, N2 to N1. So this is a grammar, no English explanation, no English explanation at all. There are only Japanese explanation, but the Japanese explanation, explanation is quite easy to understand because the target is the learners so they are also illustration so unlike this book this one is just a plus one so for those who wanted to you know maybe become a japanese language teacher or those who wanted to do to become a japanese teacher yes this book is for you okay so here is a basic summary see you guys next time bye bye